Mrs. Elbitz here and welcome back to my channel. Let's begin. Right, let's talk about the three minute revision for examen local. Right, so examen local is about um, the exam venue and everything that you experience while you're in the exam venue. The writing of the paper, the sounds that you hear, it's a very senses driven um, poem. You can hear things, see things. Um, it's everything from the start of the exam up until the time where your invigilator takes in your exam paper. The stress, the writing, um, the rows of desks, everything. The atmosphere of your poem is um, serious. It is an absolute serious moment for everybody, student and teacher. It is the exam um, that we are talking about here. Then the tome, it's somber because it's sad to write exams and we hate writing exams, so it's sad, uh, but mainly quiet and stressed. Um, then Reimte, that means where does this play off the milieu? Um, and this is an exam venue where, a stu uh, where students are um, anxiously writing exams. The build or layout of your poem here, it has five stanzas, um, but it's all free verse. There's no rhyming anywhere. Uh, but when you read it, it has a very uh, calm tone of or, or rhythm of reading because it's the two lines each. Um, you'll see that it, it reads slow. It has more pauses as you read. The inner build of this poem has progression from the moment when you have your invigilator walking up and down between the desks. You hear how people are paging through the exam papers and how people are writing. You have um, children on their, on their nerves, their hands are shaking and their work isn't really neat. Um, you have stanza four where time is passing and they can see the time passing and time is the most important factor in exams and then finally you have the papers being taken in so this whole poem is very rich with um, your senses sensory perception um, and it has a lot of imagery that you need to see uh, while you are reading this poem you've got alliteration assonance enjambment and all of that help to give you that rhythm that makes you feel like you are in an exam venue and people are pacing up and down your invigilators there's contrast because the children are quiet but the teacher invigilating is making a noise the progression we've basically spoken about that already from the start of the exam up until the point where your teacher takes in the paper and then just finally here your rhyme scheme which is a free verse we might go over three minutes i see for this one um synecdoche that is when they are referring to something small but they are actually talking about something big um, like for example they talk about the child's hand instead of the entire student sitting in the desk uh, metonymy, that has to do with when they refer to something that isn't uh, related to the person, but you can make the reference. So when they refer to the desks of students being quiet, they say the desks are quiet, but they are actually meaning the, the students behind the desk or in the desk. Your message um, is that learners cannot study the day before. I hope nobody is studying the day before when they watch this video. Um, you have to start earlier, otherwise you will be very stressed and you will have a bad experience with your exam. And in the theme, it's all about the fear and the uncertainty that you experience when you write an exam. Good luck and I hope you don't feel as stressed after watching this. Thanks for watching guys. Remember if you've got any questions, you can follow me on Instagram at Afrikaans Classroom. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos, like and share.